In this video we're going to make this item. It's called the convertible. It looks like a slouchy beanie in this position. Another way it can be worn is you undo this drawstring right here and you pull the, the circle open and even the drawstring out a little. And you open it up. And you wear it. Turn it around here. Sorry about the squishing sound. It's a styrofoam head. And this one's flopped, so it's a little hard to ma manipulate anything around it. But um, it can be worn like a collar. Another way to wear it. You, you pull it up, like so, and you can draw it tight, and wear it like a hood. So I think this would make a great gift for uh, folks for Christmas too. And you can make this looser so that it fits more like a drapey cowl, or you can make it tighter where it really is make a snug skull cap out of it. But the I, I really think it's a cool thing. And another cool thing about it is it's done with a slip stitch. Now I've been crocheting since I was 11 years old. So this is a long time. And I have never used a slip stitch in this manner. This project that I'm using as the model is my first project using this technique. It looks like it's knit in a rib stitch and it's stretchy like a rib stitch but it's crocheted with a slip stitch and you go in the back loops only to give it the elasticity. In this particular pattern there's a row of loops on the end that you use for the drawstring. So I'm going to come back around and we're going to get started. The, the next video is going to be how to actually do the stitch and I uh, guess you want to see me instead of my shirt. I'm going to learn how to do the stitch and the gauge swatch. So um, what I want you to do is go to the link below the video. It's going to have the where the pattern, the written pattern is and print it out. That's what I've done. It, it took four pages I believe yeah four pages and but it's well worth it to print it out because I'm, I'm using this over and over again so and on that pattern it'll tell you what size hooks you need um, my only problem is it says a P hook that's 10 millimeters and my P hook says that it is 11 and a half millimeters so what I'm going to do is get a 10 millimeter hook and this one and I'm going to do a gauge swatch and I'll figure out which one I need to use. Got to do a gauge swatch anyway so I'm not going to sweat about which hook should I use. Anyway, I'm going to end this video now and in the next video we will do the gauge swatch. See you later.